Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. For today, I have another pair of Jordans. Classic Jordan box right here in front of you. These ones are one of the best looking and high quality Jordans in the last, last several years, that at least I have. Uh, this is the Jordan 10, quote unquote Orlando, what people call them, uh, but this is the Royal Blue. Why did I grab this shoe? Obviously, I love it, but the price was right. Right now, this shoe retails for $190. I was able to grab them for $160 from stocks. Currently, you can buy them for $160 from multiple other retailers using coupon codes. They're finally allowing it for, you know, models that are not highly sold after and people are not buying them like crazy several years back. So now we can finally get to the normal prices and people like me can buy it in, in, this, uh, in this day and age. Perfect quality, we'll get closer, talk about it, look at all the details and talk about the history. What's remarkable about this shoe, right now circling all the picture of you know, Nick Anderson wearing it versus Jordan with the Concords. I remember those days. I actually remember and have that game recorded on VHS. For those of you who doesn't know what VHS is, this is way before your time. But anyway, I digress. Let's get closer, look at the details, and talk about this shoe. Right, now we are with the sneakers in front of us. Jordan, Air Jordan, new style boxes. These boxes were kind of reminiscent to some of the old classic ones. I really like what they're doing, you know, changing it up a little bit. It's, it's a nice change, to be honest. Uh, so let's see, this one is the Jordan 10. Royal Blue, or what people call them, the, the Orlandos. Uh, release price $190, obviously I didn't pay that kind of money, and I will never will. Uh, grab these for $160 off stocks. Uh, if most of you know stocks app and how they function, I'm not gonna explain any of that stuff. Uh, but uh, to be honest with you, even on retail, very soon these sneakers will be the same price, uh, if not even cheaper. Actually, this morning I checked, uh, there's some coupons on East Bay and some of the other retailers and you can actually grab these for the same price, 160 with a discount. But if you wait a couple of weeks, I'm sure they're gonna get closer to $100 where um, if I see them for 100, 110, I will definitely grab another pair because I love the tents. Oh, there's a the stock st sticker. So what uh, they're doing right now with the materials, I absolutely appreciate. So. Cannot be mad about that at all. Jordan brand finally came to their senses and are bringing sneakers that are worth buying and a little bit late to the party, but better for us on a cheaper price. And what I'm talking about is this upper. I mean, this upper, I saw it in stores and I was like, uh, yeah, I'm definitely buying these because it's a full on tumble leather, genuine all around. You know, minus the panel, obviously, but this is uh, not something uh, that we haven't seen before or even on the original pairs. Uh, we have tumble genuine leather, guys. I mean, over the past uh, four or five years, all the tents were arriving with some, how to put it in good words, not so nice plastic leather that was quite atrocious, to be honest. These are excellent. The stitching on the back on the jump mat is. Yeah, this is one of the things that the new Jordan's doing better. This stitching is way, way, way better than the original pairs. I remember the original pairs were not that as crafted as these ones, but these ones are excellent. Both are facing to the left side on your on your camera, and this is one of the tags that comes from uh, from stocks to kind of auth authenticate your pair. Uh, so yeah, am I happy with these ones? Absolutely. I think for 160, they're great. Hopefully further down the line, I will grab another pair for much, much cheaper because nobody's buying these. Excellent news for me. First Air Jordan to ever feature Phylon midsole. These ones had a full length air unit. So is the uh, Jordan 11. And the first one to actually have zoom was the 12. Um, any Jordan after the, the 10 had the file on midsole, which is great. One of the best thing is even if, you, if you're able to find an original pair today, uh, they're still wearable because of that midsole. It will not crack, will not crumble. You might have some sole separation, but with easy fix, with some, some uh, good glue, uh, you'll be able to go and, and wear them, no problem. But this leather used here, I mean, butter is smooth. Uh, I have zero complaints. It's so nice genuine like i mentioned so let me pull this shoe tree from inside and show you 
Oh, these atrocious stickers that I absolutely hate with the sizing. Uh, better remember to take them out before I put them on feet. And let me see if the camera will see the label. Yeah, 5, 12, 18 to 8, 15, 18 this year. Uh, my size eight and a half. The tans always fit me uh, through the size. And now that I removed the shoe tree, you can actually see the crease on the leather and how nice and plush it is. Absolutely love what they did with these. And this upper is amazing. This is kind of a, the, the word of the day. Good job, Jordan Brand, finally bringing the real materials where they belong. And the comfort on the, the tents is great. I've always liked how the tents fit and uh, always like their comfort. They're a very clean and simple shoe. And hopefully in the future, we'll see Jordan Brand releasing all the other city, uh, sort of quote unquote, city Jordan tents with all the different colorways. We have Air Jordan 23 on, uh, on the thong. We have the, the bungees that it was the first introduced in this model and tons of other, other Nike models. Uh, most, uh, most of you that are very into details, you will notice that this design is very reminiscent to our many other models, most uh, significantly to the Air Sensation or the first uh, and last signature for Chris Webber. Uh, the side panels are exactly the same, have that same wavy line. Uh, so a lot of these details were borrowed or kind of shared between models over the years uh, with, or around that time with Nike. Uh, nothing really, really to be mad about this shoe. I think uh, they did an excellent job. I'm, I'm happy to grab these, you know, for, for that price. It's, it's definitely great. A little bit of manship issues uh, here and there, a little bit of uh, excessive glue. Uh, a little bit of a more of a midsole on this left shoe than the right one, maybe a couple millimeters more. But again, that's nothing really to be worried about, especially when you grab them on a cheaper price. And like I said, they're gonna continue to get cheaper and cheaper. Uh, but yeah, the toe box is, is great. This 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 leather is just uh, it's just perfect. This leather is excellent. I love the creases. That the more they crease, the better they look in my mind because this is how the original pairs wore. And when you wear them, you were happy to wear them and you didn't care because you had them. That's how it was. So where are your sneakers? That's another message of the day. Uh, and great pickup for me under retail. We're gonna keep bringing you guys more under retail uh, models. And we're gonna continue to, to scout for any good deals. So that's pretty much it guys. Hit the thumbs up if you like the video. Stay tuned to the channel. I almost forgot to mention that actually the ton is also genuine weather leather. Very nice as well. These panels are genuine leather. So overall, it's probably one of the Jordans that predominantly genuine leather in the light years, which is excellent. Aside from those side panels for support, you are good to go with these. Um, yeah, again, excellent, excellent pickup. Uh, I'm extremely happy to get these guys and uh, to talk to you. Till next time. You guys have a wonderful day.